<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to day 79 of the 90 day video challenge brought to you by Broken to Beautifully Blended. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> What are you talking about? We're just kicking off the video. You're talking about stepping into 2020 on the right foot. Yeah, you're so mean to me. Mean to you? <laughs> How am I mean to you? You just are. Let's go. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Apparently, somebody's laughing for the first time today. <laughs> Probably. As you met, as you met, as you saw last night, April's feeling a little under the weather. <laughs> What, you're not covering your face with your stupid jacket anymore? I'm going to do the rest of the video <laughs> like this. But she's had a bit of a cold, and so she took today to rest. Mm -hmm. And she finally got out of bed just in time to come down here and do this video. How you feeling, honey? I'm all right. <laughs> Speak to the camera. so fun yeah yeah well i hope that you're feeling better soon me too so today is day 79 and we're getting ever so close to the christmas holiday it's coming up in less than a week now we're like six days away five I days away know. something like that and so i don't know what today is today's thursday the 19th i think the 19th, yeah, Thursday the 19th. So, Jaden will be home tomorrow. She comes home tomorrow night, and as soon as she pulls in the driveway here, she's going to take her stuff out of her car, put it in our car. We're going to leave and go to Arkansas to spend the uh, weekend over there doing family Christmas stuff. And so, we're looking forward to doing that. We've got to... Uh, take in the whole extended family thing and... I'm going to see my sister and brother-in-law and nephew, and my mom will be there, my stepmom and my dad, and all of us. And Nathan. Nathan will be there, and the only one that won't be there is Allison, because she's working in Dallas. So, we'll miss her, but we should FaceTime her. Mm -hmm. We probably will, at some point. FaceTime her right in the middle of like the most boring thing that we do. That way she can enjoy it with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. April doesn't think that's a good idea. I said we could. I just so, don't think it's as funny as you think it is. That's because I'm a funny guy. Well, that's debatable. So, all right. We've come to the <clears throat> end of a monumentous challenge. It's day 40 in the 40-day prayer challenge. That means that's it. That's, today's it. We made it through this whole book. Yeah. Did you read every page? Yep. I did too. Did you read every page? Did you read every page? I don't think so. Anyway, today, day 40, prayer alphabet. Luke 11, Luke 11, 1 says, Lord, teach us to pray. He starts out talking about attending a prayer breakfast, and not just any prayer breakfast, prayer breakfast at the White House. And he had several hundred religious leaders from across the country. And he said, before breakfast, a 76-year-old African-American preacher who had served alongside Martin Luther King Jr. in the Civil Rights Movement offered a prayer. He says, I was expecting a perfunctory pre-mail prayer pre-meal <laughs> prayer, but it was anything but that. To be honest, I usually pray short prayers before meals because I believe in eating food while it's hot. So I certainly wasn't expecting a pre-meal prayer that would make my entire prayer life flash before my eyes. The seasoned saint prayed with such familiarity with the Heavenly Father that I felt like I barely knew God, but it made me want to know God the way that He knew God. And he prayed with such authority that it felt like he had just left the, th the throne room of God. By comparison, 
My prayers seemed like weak sauce. Have you ever had somebody pray like that? Where you're just like, this is impressive. Yeah. And I think that it's more impressive whenever it's the familiar, that it's not the thy and King James language. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah. I've, I've been a part of those type of situations where somebody prays and they know, it seems like they know exactly what to say to really, you know, make you be like, yes, that's exactly what I've been searching for. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I love it because my, my prayer life feels weak at times. Yeah. And so I, when somebody is that way, it just moves me. And I have to believe at some in some form or fashion, it moves the heart of God when mm-hmm. we all come together in a moment like that and worship and pray together in that way. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I'm just going to say, you're going to have to go fast, sir, because I'm going downhill fast. So, Okay. When you've written a book on prayer, people tend to think you've figured it all out. But praying is like a new language. You're learning Spanish or something. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't know about you guys, I took Spanish in college, and that was one of the hardest classes I ever took. I got, uh, I think, a D. I liked Spanish in college better than I did in junior high. But the thing that's interesting is that as we pray, it is like learning a new language. And so we have to be willing to put in the time, do the repetition, and so that it becomes something that we're so familiar with that it's easy to do it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Is that fast enough? Yeah. He talks about uh, a story where a little girl uh, was praying in her bedroom one night and her grandfather overheard her praying the alphabet, literally. She said, Dear God, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. He says she went all the way to Z and said, Amen. The grandfather said, Sweetie, why were you praying that way? The granddaughter replied, I didn't know what to say, so I figured I'd let God put the letters together however he saw fit. He says, sometimes I feel that way too. I have no idea what to say when I pray, and that's okay. I've been there several times. Um, For me, I can think of when I went through my divorce that there were many nights where I just didn't know what to pray. Uh, And so you sort of just do that. You're like, dear God, and then you just sort of hang there. But... The, the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit intercedes for us and prays for us in those moments. Mm-hmm. And so um, we have to be willing to step into those places where we don't know what to say. We don't know what to ask for. We don't know what God has next. And we just go, God, I don't know what the point is of where I'm at right now. Just show me what's next. Uh, and then he does. He goes on and talks about uh, his friend Ross Hill, who's the CEO of Bank Two in Oklahoma City. And he says he built his business uh, as a man of God. And he says he's never encountered a businessman more devoted to the cause of Christ. The bank is his pulpit, and its customers are his congregation. Ross defines business as mission, and he's great at both. Uh, it says they, when they opened the doors, they anointed the doors with oil. They prayed for every person who would walk in and out. Board meetings begin with prayer. And when new, new employees need to be recruited, prayers are offered for the process. It's not uncommon for Ross to personally pray with customers or employees in his executive office. Prayer is the foundation of everything they do. And April and I have talked over the last couple of months that, I mean, that's something that I really want us to do as a family and to be involved in as a family is prayer in all situations. And it takes discipline and it takes time and it takes effort. We, I said to her just before we started the video that there's been several times that I've felt prompted to have the family lay hands on the fifth wheel that we have. 
because way the way that we have seen it from the beginning is that that is for us to use to benefit the family for what it is that God's teaching us and for us to use it to benefit others as they go through their lives and they encounter what God has for them um, and we've never done it not for any other reason than you know I I do a lot of thinking praying listening while I run when I get back I sit down take a few breaths, and then I forget. And so i got to be more diligent about following through on the things that God's called me to do with situations like that. So, yeah. Nothing else to say? Well, just like with his the difference, whenever I was the broker of um, the real estate office that I was the broker of, um, we did open every single meeting in prayer and we did pray for each other. And it makes a big difference in how people show up. It helps them to understand that they are seen, that they're loved, that they're cared for. It makes a big difference whenever you can bring God into all aspects of your life. Mm, I'm certain. That's good. What was the thought of the day? Prayer is the difference between the best we can do and the best God can do. Mm-hmm. When we come to the end of ourselves, that's where God begins. So, it's been 40 days. We've been through the whole book. Mm-hmm. I hope that this challenge has helped you develop a, a more compelling, more devoted, more uh, deep, I guess, prayer life. As we've discovered, you know, God is not about, prayer is not about asking God for things that we want. It's about discerning what God's will is and aligning it with our dreams and visions. So uh, I would encourage you to continue to seek out the ways that God wants to use you. Pray about it. Draw circles around it and pray over it until God moves, until God answers one way or another. And don't be ashamed to do so because God is... God is intent on us working through these things until he is uh, glorified. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. Okay, tomorrow's day 80. You really must be ready to go back to bed. I am. You should have just stayed in bed. I could have done this. I would have put a picture of you up or something. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. So, all right. Tomorrow, day 80. We'll be off the prayer challenge, and we'll be doing some stuff that's a little bit different. We'll be talking a little bit more about what's coming in the days, weeks, and months, but we're looking forward to it. Um, we'll also be, I don't know if we'll do this before we leave or we'll something. We'll have to do it before but we leave. We'll figure out somehow to get it done. We'll be waiting on Jaden after you get off work. So. so, all right, everybody. Thank you for doing the challenge with us. Thank you for continuing to hang with us on the video challenge. We'll see you guys tomorrow on day 80. Have a great night.